Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Bakertron and this is another Homeworld 1v1 on the map Subjugate Your Friends which is one of my favourite maps since it's quite three dimensional and yet it's still small enough that it doesn't take 20 minutes to start usually. Anyway, so today we have a 1v1, the sort of pink-ish Kushan player here. This is Sir Mol or Sir Molly or Sir Mol. I'm not entirely sure which one. It's his opponent, this sort of brownish orangey type player, is Coffee. Now I have no information at all about Coffee, but Sir Mol, I looked up went through various old forums and he was apparently at one point one of the best at homeworld multiplayer so we'll have to see if he can well how well he does in this one he might not do well this could be his first ever game I don't know and I believe he's actually in a clan usually but he doesn't appear to be in one here so this may be one of his early games either way he has started off strangely enough with two resource controllers which we don't see that often. His opponent's coffee has just gone for one. And he's got the fairly standard scouts, like corvettes, and support frigates starting configuration. Although they're not really in a very good formation, he's really need to be behind some light corvettes. Sir Moll, or Molly. M O double L E. I'm gonna stick with Sir Mol. Likewise, fairly standard scouts, light corvettes, more scouts. The big thing is this extra resource controller, which I'm not really, uh, not 100% convinced is going to be useful. But we can see at the moment, coffee is already moving towards the centre of the map. Sir Mol has probe in a very good position. You can see everything that's going on. There's another one over here. Is that that? Unfortunately he's quite far back so whether he so Coffee may be able to come in and do some damage before Sir Mol's own strivecraft can respond. He has gone for defenders which really come down to how well they're positioned they need to be positioned at the back so they don't get fired upon and if that happens and if they can stay at the back for quite some time they tend to do quite a bit of damage otherwise though it's not good for them they, they can't really go out right in front of the fight and last for very long simply because they're terrible at dodging I think we've also got it looks like fuel is turned on as well which will play a part if the battle goes on for too long Either way, in this sense of the map, definitely Coffee has more resource collectors. He's got three, so Mole's two, and he's got this fairly large and scary force here. And it's not necessarily these scouts that are scary, it's this this light corvette wall with the support frigates is going to be able to do a lot of damage and take a lot of damage during return. As so Mole, in comparison, only has one support figure out. So his Corvette Ward is going to be significantly weaker. He does have the defenders, and that's really what he's going to be relying on to sort of win the fight for him. This resource harvester should survive long enough for these Corvettes to come in and save him, in theory. But it might not actually, it might, it might go down. These Corvettes are pretty close by now. You see, 27 scares at the start. Let's just see if we can get all of some old units. So, 8 defenders, 28 scares, 10 light Corvettes. And he's going to st start losing scares, but both sides have scares really. They can be thrown away, they can be kamikazed into the enemy, which I think is what we're seeing now. They have quite distinct explosions, I think. When the kamikazes occur, so there's some quite a few scouts dying for both players there. Down to 20 scouts for a Sermol. The light corvettes and the defenders though have been untouched. 
And so these defenders are going to start doing quite a lot of damage over time. Now I'm just going to sit here and kill everything. Uh, the only problem is, is once again, Coffee has the support for all his light corvettes, where Sir Mold doesn't. And that means that once all the scouts are gone, and it becomes corvette versus corvette, Coffee's going to have the advantage. We could already see the they're healing up quite well, or quite a lot. These defenders, I believe they're now too far out of range. Let's see, yep. Now they're kind of getting back into range, but they really need to be shooting constantly. Meanwhile, more scouts for both players. Scout numbers are so low though, it's really just going to be Corvettes versus Corvettes. And in which case, as I said, Sir Mole has the disadvantage. He's also outnumbered in Corvettes. And there's a heavy corvette. It's two heavy corvettes for co four coffee. And right now, those corvettes appear to be focusing down these defenders pretty rapidly. And you can just see how incredibly quickly they die to the corvettes. And so, really, Sir Mold is down to scouts and my corvettes. And with the heavy corvettes of coffee it's not gonna look good for him to scale. Let's see if we can do a heavy corvette. There's mine lane corvettes out as well. That's just going to I don't think they'll play a huge role, they might get one of these harvesters. But really it's definitely the heavy corvettes. I mean Sir Mal has quite a distinct advantage in this area. He's got some more defenders out. He's got a lot of defenders out in fact. They're so close to this Corvette group, it's not going to look good for them. Corvettes now just absolutely demolishing those. Yeah, it's uh, Marvel's Corvettes, we can just see how absolutely terrifying this is. Nothing Sir Marl has can take down this Corvette group here. Especially not with the two, with the two support frigates. I mean, defenders are good, but they're too, they're too far forward. They don't have anything to buffer for them, they don't have any cannon fodder for them. So Sir Mole is just kind of sending in the last of his ships. And they're not going to do very well. You see them being picked off now. He's got a handful of ships left, but I, I believe he is basically out. It's, he can't, can't, can't defeat that. He can't defeat this group here. Even if he can, can get frigates out, there's mine lane corvettes out, that'll stop them. So I think this is significantly in Coffee's favour. Honestly, I, I don't expect Sir Mal to be able to stay in this fight for much longer. He has... is he out of harvesters? I think he has... Yes, he's got one resource controller, and an assault frigate and a support frigate. And that's pretty much it in terms of significant craft. And one defender left. So honestly, I think... I think Coffee has won. I think he has pulled ahead. Uh, defenders this time not proving advantageous. And Sir Mole actually not. Well, not winning, which is a little surprising for me. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have, please like, subscribe, etc. Uh, hopefully, I'll be doing, as you can probably tell, more videos more often. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and we'll just keep it, keep it going for a few more minutes. You never know, a destroyer might pop out for Sir Mal. You could pull it back. Oh, this is all figured isn't going to last long. You just see how quickly those those heavy and light corvettes tear through it, and is is ended. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.